Uh, they both do about the same thing. Uh, one of them corkscrews into the ground. The other one is hydraulically driven into the ground. If I had to choose, I'd rather have a push pier over a helical pier, just for longevity purposes. Helical, essentially, it, it is reliant on the soil, whereas push pier busts through all that and it, it goes down to bedrock. There's not much difference. Um, there is a difference. Push pier, you can use hand tools to push that pier. Uh, helical, you have to have a machine. Uh, so those are the two only differences. Not necessarily in terms of effectiveness as much as installation process. If you have the weight of the house, a push pier would be recommended. If say you're putting helicals to address a sunroom, the helicals would, would be what you need because a push pier would actually blow the roof right off of it because it doesn't have the counterbalance weight. Installation process obviously is, is different between the two. Uh, costs, um, there's not much difference in cost. Uh, evasiveness, you run into where, you know, somebody can dig a hole and push a pier. Uh, whereas if you were to do the same thing with a helical, you'd have to excavate just like you would a, a push pier, but you'd have to bring in a machine to, to install that pier. I just find the push pier to be more reliable over a helical. But, you know, there's different fixes for different things. And sometimes, you know, a helical is more recommended than a push pier because of said underlying issue.